Hey, all you viewers to be named later. How are we doing today? Well, it's finally here. Seriously. Um, there's a weird little story that goes along with this. And by the way, that's just my limited lifetime warranty. But the Gerber Armbar Slim Drive is finally here on the channel. I'll tell you that story here in a moment. I do like these new packagings that they have because it's kind of cool to open that up and see that right there. You know, it is kind of neat in the little um, grid pattern or, you know, a declination elevation patterns that they have inside the box. That is kind of cool. But when I originally ordered this, Gerber sent me the wrong item. They sent me a highbrow. And they were like, oh, crap, we're sorry. Keep that as our way of saying, my bad. And they sent me out this guy. Now, I've already reviewed both of the arm bars, the, what, the Slim and the Cork or whatever. I, I can't remember the exact names. But take a look right up here. You're going to see a card for every single gear review I've ever brought to the channel. You'll find both of them in there. Now, I love the fact with the arm bars that they pair a lot of tools in a small area and they make it much more compact and easy to carry. But they even pared that down even more. So when you're doing your everyday carry, you've always got to remember ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. The more you pack on you, the more it's going to hurt over the long run. This one I kind of like because it gives me two tools that I use pretty much on a daily basis but we'll get there in just a moment. Now, you can find this in, I believe, black, orange, and a goldish, orangey, a goldish, yellowish color on Gerber's website. It's really not that available yet, all right? On Blade HQ, it's listed as coming soon, and on Amazon, you can't even find it. Now, what I like is when it's closed up like this, it's got a length of about 3.8 inches. So it's still small enough that it can get in your pocket and not really take up a lot of real estate, or you can attach it to a keychain right there. It comes in at a small weight of about 2.5 ounces. Now, when you deploy the blade in here fully, you've got a length of about 6.75 inches, so you've got a good bit of real estate and a good purchase for your hand when you're trying to do some cutting. Now, I do like the fact that we have some black aluminum scales, and they call that like a black stone wash finish over most of the, uh, the arm bar. I can't really see it so much here, but on the blade, I do. And yes, in case you're wondering, it is made in China. Now, I know they call this thing, it has four tools, but in reality, it's only three. I don't like the fact that you can flip something around and they call it a brand new tool. So on the drive here, and no, it still doesn't lock for some of you who were complaining about that before. Here's two tools. You know, your Phillips head and your flathead. They call that two. Of course, every multi-tool. Where are you? What the heck? Come on. Come on. There we go. Every multi-tool seems to have to have a bottle opener. So there you go. There's your bottle opener. And yes, in case you're wondering, we do have a two and a half inch plain edge blade that does have a liner lock, right, excuse me, liner lock right there. Now, everywhere I went looking, I could not find the steel that the blade's made out of. So I'm probably going to go with something like a 420 high carbon or like a 5CR or maybe even a 3CR. You never know. Okay. And yes, like I said, there is the keychain attachment. So that's all the fun stuff on this blade. But I should not blade, but multi-tool, okay? So let's get into a cut test on this guy. And if you're curious why I'm picking these three, take a look right up here. There's a card for why I do these cut tests. Heavy-duty stock paper. Now, like I said, I'm not expecting much from this. Oh, of course. Make a liar out of me. Need some stropping. See that right there with the paper? How it's kind of pushing? And you can see a lot of snow right there. Let's see if we can get a curly cue. Nah, it's not going to do it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. And this is going to be frightening. Maybe not. Maybe that's not from the TRD. All right, paracord. Let's go with a pull test. Damn. That turned into more of a slice test. I didn't expect much from it, to be honest. I really didn't. And there's your slice. Went through no problem. Mr. Ratchet Strap. I know, 
but we all know what's going to happen to him. Felt like it struggled a little bit going through there. Let me do that again. Yeah, it's seriously, I don't know if you could hear that. It sounded like it was ripping it all the way through. And I don't know if that's a trick of the light. But I'm seeing what could be an uneven blade edge there. Feels a little weird, so I'm going to have to play around with that on a sharpener. Huh. Seriously, I'm seeing it kind of right through here. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, this time it's going through all right. All right. The other night I was having a little bit of a problem getting her closed. Hmm. Okay. So I did all the homework, all the fun stuff on this guy in 42021, and I'm filming this video in 42121. It's not on Amazon, Blade HQ, it's coming soon, and all the versions of the Armbar Slim Drive are 32 bucks on Gerber, <laughs> and it has yet to be reviewed on Gerber. But now, <laughs> my favorite part of the video, I know someone's going to tear me up because I'm not, oh, here's a screw in here, let me open a bottle. Come on, guys, y you know how to twist a screw, you know how to open a bottle, right? Great. So, I want to know your... Questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below in the comment section. Do you think it's a nice multi-tool or an F-bomb? Noise or an F-bomb? I like it. I'm going to have to resharpen it up a bit because I'm not liking what I saw on that blade. It could be a trick of the light. I don't know. I don't want to take any chances. That's just me. I want it to perform a little bit better, you know? <laughs> what can I say? If I'm going to carry it, it better be good. Now, for you first-time viewers on my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for viewing this video. I know we do things radically different here on this channel, and I just want to thank you for coming along for the ride. Now, for you first-timers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question is why. Why don't you leave me an answer what I can do right down below to earn your subscription, and you know, you never know how you're going to change the course of history of this channel. Now, after you've done all that fun stuff, I know I'm asking a lot, right? Take a look right down there. You're going to see a big channel symbol pop it up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked it out the way, if you so choose, please destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because that's going to let YouTube notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much here on YouTube, two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they feel will be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My very quick tabletop look at the Gerber Armbar Slim Drive. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a safe day, a great day, an incredible day, and we'll see you in the next video.